In this quick video, I'll show you what's new in firmware version 1.4 for Denon DJ's Prime Series media players. This update enables internet connection, both hardwired and Wi-Fi, adds Tidal Hi-Fi music service, and incorporates various performance enhancements. The first new feature I want to show you is the ability for Prime Series hardware to connect to the internet. For Wi-Fi, there are a couple of different methods for accessing the menu. The first is the Wi-Fi icon from the source menu. Press and hold the view button and then choose source. Once the source menu is visible, tap the Wi-Fi icon from the top of the screen. The second method is in the utility menu under the device settings. Press and hold the view button and then choose utility. Under device settings, you'll see a new option there for Wi-Fi settings. Tap the word open to access the Wi-Fi menu. From the Wi-Fi settings menu, all wireless networks will be listed and sorted by signal strength. You can tap the gear icon to view network settings such as signal strength and security type for each listed network. It's also possible to access mobile Wi-Fi hotspots. To do this, enable your personal hotspot on your device and then tap the hotspot name to log in. This is handy for situations where internet access is limited or unavailable. To log into the Wi-Fi access point, just tap the name of the network, enter your password, and tap connect. Once connected successfully, the Wi-Fi connection will indicate a connected status. Clicking the gear icon when connected will present more settings for this connection, such as auto connect, the IP address, and the ability to forget the current network. You can also disable Wi-Fi completely by tapping the Wi-Fi icon from the source menu or disabling the feature within the utility menu. The first time you access Tidal, you will be prompted to activate the device. Just follow the on-screen instructions using a desktop or mobile web browser. Activating the device is only necessary the first time you log in on this hardware. The account information is stored and then recalled each time you use the device thereafter. Once activated, you'll instantly have access to all Tidal content, including your personal playlist, favorite songs, albums, and artists. To load a track, you can swipe to the right or press one of the load buttons. The song is instantly downloaded and can be played as soon as the download has finished. It's important to mention that all the songs are downloaded in their entirety before enabling playback. This ensures that there are no audio interruptions if the internet connection becomes weak or unavailable. Once a song is downloaded, it is analyzed for BPM and beat gridded. During this time, you can still play back the track and also set hot cues as well as loop points. All of the performance data is stored to your source drive, so if you want to recall this information the next time you load a track from Tidal, you must ensure that you have a media device connected and it's selected as the source. This update brings a number of additional improvements and enhancements, so for the complete release notes, be sure to check out denandjforum.com. Thanks for watching.